right, y'all. It's AGP and it's Friday. So you know it's time for another AGP video. <laughs> now I just want to start by apologizing for the bummy AGP. That's this one right here. I honestly was, was rattling my brain about what I was going to give y'all today. But then I was just like, you know, I have some other articles and videos that I'm going to make. Ideas for videos I'm going to make for next week. Maybe I'll drop another one this weekend. I don't know. We'll see. But as y'all can see in the title, I was like, yo, I'm going to just do something where I'm going to just talk about why I'm excited for Goza Tsushima. I'm just like, you know, we haven't had a game like Goza Tsushima since 2018. Now, when I say that, I mean, there were good games in 2019. It was a weird year for me, though, because I usually finish games. Like, I, I, I can't start a game and not finish it. But last year was the first year where... There were mad games that I did not finish. Jedi Fallen Order, Sekiro, Kingdom Hearts 3, Devil May Cry 5, Death Stranding. The point is, there was a lot. Devil May Cry 5 I almost finished, which you can all attest to because it's all here on my channel. Sekiro, I have a lot to do there. Kingdom Hearts 3 is kind of almost finished, I think, but I'm not even sure. The last time I was finishing games the way I'm used to finishing games was 2018 because I finished Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Spider-Man which I was excited for. Anyways, I haven't been in any games like Ghost of Tsushima in two years. And when I say that, I mean open world. Oh, Red Dead Redemption 2 came out two years ago. That was great. That was a great game. I enjoyed that one very much. There haven't been any like open world, third person games the way that Ghost of Tsushima and Assassin's Creed and Red Dead Redemption 2 are in a while. Spider-Man. And when I say a while, two years is not that long. It really isn't the craziest of spans. 2019 just seemed like the year of convoluted ass games with crazy stories. I don't know, for me, I'm just excited for Ghost of Tsushima. I mean, you're you're a samurai. You switch to being a ghost, which, like I told you, I'm a big Assassin's Creed fan, so it almost looks like there's a lot of Assassin's Creed aspects that hit you with the Batman Arkham series aspects with the drop down and the slow motion and you take out each guard with like a link a chain link takedown situation so that's that's really why I'm excited you also get to recruit allies as if this was Assassin's Creed Brotherhood from like nine years ago of whom you may actually have to fight yourself as I stated in my we may have to fight our allies video you know I'm gonna I'm a, next week hopefully we'll get some new news hopefully nothing that will be a delay but something I can come and talk to y'all about I might do like a character analysis or breakdown something of that nature you get katanas you know I still think you're supposed to follow the leaves for the destination situation I'm pretty much convinced that because there's gonna be no waypoints that you know you're gonna have to follow something and I don't know that people are gonna memorize landmarks very much no seriously I mean the game is so widely open but yeah yeah so we gonna see it's historical and based and I was a history major I'm very excited we never get games about Mongol invasions and the antagonist in this Kodan Khan was based off of Kublai Khan who was Genghis Khan's grandson. If y'all know who Genghis Khan is, he was the first emperor of the first Mongol empire. And um, the dude was crazy. He had six wives, about 500 concubines. And geneticists assume that about 16 million men are related to him. So in other words, he was doing a lot of So it should be an interesting experience. But I'm gonna catch y'all next time. I appreciate y'all for watching this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Usually I have info here. I'm not just ranting, but... I ain't really have much info today, but I wanted to give y'all something, a little piece of me. I'm gonna catch y'all next time, all right? Peace.